Driving an electric car isn't only about cutting air pollution, it's also about having fun. This reporter recently got to test drive the Tesla Model S, a five-seat sedan with an 85 kilowatt hour battery that gets you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.2 seconds. It might perform better than any other electric car, but it still has a major drawback. Its battery is expensive. It brings the car's price tag up to an eye-watering $80,000. To make electric cars more affordable, Tesla and about 200 other developers are trying to make batteries with a higher energy density at a lower cost. Lithium-ion batteries are currently the energy source of choice for electric cars like the Tesla Model S. But, uh, battery chemistry is a very, very tricky thing. It's just remarkable how many sort of so-called breakthroughs you read about yeah, yeah. that turn out to be nonsense. Um, so lithium-ion is the one you're going to stick with for that. I mean, I really just don't, don't know anything about her. But companies such as UK startup Faradian think in the next few years they can make the same battery a third cheaper by replacing its lithium ions with sodium ions. Sodium ion uh, cathode materials do almost exactly the same as what lithium ion cathode materials would do. Uh, because of the wider availability and the lower cost of the raw materials that go into sodium ion cathodes, sodium ion battery packs will be significantly cheaper than lithium ion battery packs going into the future. Analysts think it will be a few years yet before novel battery chemistries are ready for the road and people can afford to swap out their gas guzzling cars. Then they can join Dr. Sati Sayan, who was one of the first people in the UK to buy a Model S when it launched there recently. It actually drives fantastic, I think compared to almost any other supercars. Uh, the sheer uh, torque and acceleration on this car is amazing, almost instant. Uh, and the fact that everything is electrified, you know, it's uh, every control is literally off the 17-inch the screen. But this is the future of cars. This is Alex Scott for Chemical and Engineering News in the UK, reporting from the right side of the car.